Tanya, hi, Jim Delapine here. I want to give you some feedback on this. So I see you did a good job with the background and and now you have uh, Fred on a surface. So what you need to do is go through that tutorial and create a shadow for Fred on, on this base here. I see that you had your guidelines set up, so that's great. So let me just hide those guidelines. And now I want to talk about the text, okay? So the text, it does not look good. You want to make it look like it's part of the image here. So I have some suggestions. So let me just um, show some text that I created and then hide what you did here. And I'll hide this too. So I just copied and pasted this um, on a vertical, uh, horizontal format rather. So uh, this, this font is fine. This will work for what I have intentions of doing with it. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just scale this up. And I can, I'm going to stretch it and just make it a little funky looking. And Okay, so we'll place that somewhere up here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is use this to create a selection. I have a little F here. Why is that? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Uh, let me zoom in. So here, I want to find out where that is. So I'm going to click on that. And hmm. Okay, so since it's not a font layer anymore, I can simply select it and delete it. Okay, so that being said, what I'm going to do is if I control or command click on the thumbnail for that layer, okay, I can now use that selection to do this. I'm going to hide that layer, go to the blue top area here, and then what I'm going to do is hit control J. That will copy what's in that layer to the layer above. Uh, rather, what's in that selection to the layer above. Then what I'll do is I'll drag this on top of this, this because you have this food element here that's a clipping mask. So let me just redo that. So it changed into a different color, which is fine. So now what we'll do is double click on that layer here and create a, um, a, uh, a layer style. So I'm going to go with Bevelin and Boss. And I want you to experiment with this, okay? So if you choose outer bed of bevel, I think that looks a little better. And you could also go in here and let's see, I'm going to go to color overlay, select the name, and then you can select a, a color in here. I don't know why that came out as green. So I'll select a, a color. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess something in the blue area would be fine to kind of match the background. And you can listen the opacity of it. Although, um, hmm, no, that's working. Okay, yeah. So something like that, um, and I think that'll be fine. So something like that, and then we'll do the same thing with Fred, but with this, I'm going to place this on the floor here. So I've showed this technique to other people too. So um, I'm going to stretch this up. I'm going to stretch this out. Okay, and I'll do it something like this. Okay, I'll hit enter. And then, now notice I changed this from a text layer to rasterize layer. So what you'd have to do is, if this was text, like for example with this, you'd have to right click on the layer and then select rasterize type. So I'm going to need you to do that for, for this, uh, this text here also. Okay, so now what I'll do is this. I'm going to... Go to Edit Transform. Whoops, I have to have the right layer active, of course. Uh, where is this? Okay, Edit Transform, and then Perspective. Why isn't that? Ah, that's because it's it's a text layer. So I need to right click, rasterize the type, and then Perspective will be an option here. Okay. Then click one, the, the lower corner bounding box, and then you're going to stretch that out accordingly. And this way you'll get the illusion that it's on the floor. Okay, I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to use that as a selection. I'm going to steal that selection by control clicking on that layer, hiding the text, going to the background bottom floor area, hitting control J. Okay. Then I'll drag this up above 
the clipping masks and then I'll go back and reclip them. Okay. And now what I have is the ability to uh, use the same layer style. So actually what I can do is this. I can steal that layer style. So if I hold down my Alt key or Option key, here's the layer I just created this one on. So I can hold down my Alt, Alt key or Option key and drag that FX up to this one. And it applies the same exact layer style. And that means you could also go in there and customize it if you want. So you can double click on the FX and go in there and, you know, change the color if you want. Just for kicks, I'll, I'll change the color. And, you know, you, so you have that option. Whoops, why didn't that happen? Why didn't that happen? Uh, color overlay. Oh, that's because it's in multiply mode. So if I go to normal mode, it will reflect that. All right, so it has to be in normal mode. All right, so, so you have that. All right, now um, uh, I, th I suggest what you need to do also is create a selection and save it as a channel and rename it. All right, I see that you do have some, some layer uh, adjustment layers in here that you created clipping masks out of. I'm going to suggest you do that with the hat, okay, because the hat is very dark. So I'm going to suggest you create an adjustment layer for levels and instantly create a clipping mask out of it by Alt or Option clicking here. And then you can play around with the setting for it, okay? And just just a little bit of a setting change here. Uh, bring in the highlights and shadows, and just to make it give it a little more oomph, okay? So this is so let me close out of this. So this is before and after. So you see a lot more details in the hat when you when you can uh, make that adjustment, okay? You may even want to do that with the cone. You know, you may want to do that with each layer. This would, if you go into levels, instantly create a clipping mask, and then make uh, an adjustment. Um, I'm really, you know, the original cone is actually pretty good, uh, but I'm on the wrong layer. No wonder why. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, you also have to do a better job with this candy cane using the, the clipping mask, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, the layer mask. So where is this cone? Uh, the cone's way down here. So uh, let me just tie that, okay? So down with the cone, I'm going to create an adjustment layer for levels and instantly make that a clipping. You Actually, you do have levels in there. Okay, so here's what happened. You did not make that a clipping mask. So that means it's affecting all of the underlying layers. So um, what you need to do is both click here, and now it's affecting only that layer, okay, with the ice cream comb. And that looks a lot better, okay? So I hope that helped, all right? Don't forget that shadow, all right? Okay, take care.